Tip number one, we tend to write differently to the way we speak. So once you've planned out what you're going to say on paper, make sure you rehearse it out loud several times and you'll notice that you start making amendments as you go through. That's a good one. Is there a time when you've seen the written and spoken word clash? Sure, yeah, I heard a workshop speaker once who clearly hadn't rehearsed their lines out loud. So they had phrases like, you can't imagine our surprise when the quotes came in over budget. <laughs> now they clearly knew their stuff, but they didn't sound authentic or sincere. What's one of your top tips? Well, as Oscar Wilde said, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. Tip number two, bring a bit about you and your style into your presentations. So, how do you suggest we go about that? Well, there's a few ways. Let people know a bit about you, your background, and insert yourself into the story. The more that you can put a real life experience of you at work and you insert that into your story, then you let people connect with you as a speaker rather than just being a robot. You know, I was blown away when I saw the Sir Ken Robinson video, How Does School Kill Creativity? You really should get a chance to look at it on YouTube sometime. It will really enlighten you. Yeah, and I like how the way you inserted yourself in the telling of that little story. You said, I was blown away by. That's a really subtle way of adding in your own style. Tip number three, unpack your problems. Mm, how long have you got? No, what I mean is give some background and context to the issues instead of diving straight into solution mode. That way you increase the level of buy-in from your audience. Sort of sounds like foreplay for presenters. Ooh. Yeah, not the analogy I would have used, but sort of effective nonetheless. Tip number four, watch your language. But I never swear in front of an audience. Not what I meant. Have you ever had a conversation with someone where all they've said is I this or I that, I everything else? I sure have. Well, we wield much more influence if we use inclusive language. So aim to use us, we and our much more than you do I. Great. So the eyes don't have it. And our final tip, tip number five, open with an icebreaker. Tell me more. Well, you'll boost your level of audience engagement if you get them participating early on. So think about asking them something like, type their name, what the weather's like, and one thing they want to get out of today's webinar into their chat box. Then you or your host can read out the most popular answers. Hmm, that sounds reasonable for a smaller audience. What if there are hundreds out there? Well, if there's hundreds, you can run a poll and then your host can help identify what the main responses are. So, there you have it, our top five tips for being an influential presenter. Talk your presentation through out loud. Our spoken word is often different to the written word. Be yourself to add style to your presentations. Unpack problems to get greater buy-in to your solutions. Use inclusive language such as us, our and we rather than I, me and my all the time. Make sure you break the ice early to get greater participation and interaction with your audience. Michael, I feel very influential now. <laughs>